Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackbeard here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I was just over at Bucky's house. We kind of like built a little man cave in his basement and we set up like a futon and an Xbox. And a bunch of us came over and we're playing hockey on the 360. And we weren't doing too well because, you know, when you play, try to play with four people at once, you always suck because everybody's trying to like go for the puck and everything like that in, in hockey. Um, so everybody started getting mad, so I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. I didn't want to get beat up because I wasn't doing very well. So I guess it sucks to suck for me. But um, usually I don't do that bad. But anyways, today I want to talk to you guys about color management. And color management is within the project settings, and it's kind of uh, hard to understand. And to be honest, I don't know every single thing about color management because there's a whole bunch of different... Um, aspects to it but you don't need to know a whole every single thing about it you just need to know the basics and how to use it correctly and then if you ever need to know anything else just look on like Adobe's website to uh, figure out what's going on and uh, I'll bring up their uh, their page that that they have here that um, will be helpful for you if you ever need to but um, here it is and if you ever just pause it and then like write this down or just type in um, After Effects color management so I'll bring that over to the side and I'm not gonna be reading from that or anything like that I'm just I just brought that up so that you guys had something to do or something to uh, read as like extra material to help you help yourself out um, I read it a long time ago and it is actually uh, pretty decent at helping you figure out what's going on so color management is pretty much used to make sure that the colors that are on your computer screen the, that you see are going to be transferred over to the like something like a TV or if you're going to be putting something on a web page you want to have the right color space and um, like to, if you're bringing in your footage you want to make sure it's the right uh, type of it's the right color and everything when you bring it onto your own computer screen this is pretty important especially when you're trying to color correct things you want to make sure that you have the right kind of color on your monitor or and you want to make sure that it's going to be right on like a TV or something like that and you remember that there's certain kinds of TVs and everything so you got the tube TVs and then you got some uh, TVs that aren't full HD and then you got the HD TVs so you just whatever you plan on putting this on you need to think ahead and then set up your project for that. So um, we go over this now because now we have a kind of an idea of what's going on. So let's go into our project settings. So go to file, then all the way down here at the bottom is project settings. And your project is um, pretty much everything is combined into all your video and all your compositions that you have made and everything that you save with this file name so mine's aeone.aep that's your project so we've got the uh, project settings going on here and uh, we don't need to worry about these um, time code and frames because we have learned about these already I want to teach you about this color setting section so we've got this depth here um, and this is the uh, bits per channel and we've got 16 and 32 and that's gonna um, talk about like the amount of color that you've got into here so I'm gonna uh, cancel out of this real quick because I can't go over onto anything else like if I click it's gonna give me the error noise like that so I'm gonna come over here and look at my video real quick and if you look into the video Look, I can't make this, I can't make this uh, any bigger, I guess, up here. But if you look at the the video uh, settings here, we've got forty four point one zero zero khz, and that is your audio, and we've got thirty two bit right here, and then we've got stereo. Now you may have. You may look at this and see 16 bit here or on the on another one of these we got 32 bit don't get confused by that this section right here 
is audio. What we want to pay attention to here is the uh, file type here. And we want to make sure and realize if we have any HD footage going on. So check out the um, actual resolution and if it's HD or not. So I've got this here which is a bunch of which was a bunch of DPX Im images which is a large file type that supports lots of colors so if um, I've got and then I've got something like this here I'll bring that in you can see this is huge and uh, let me move it over here to where our current timing indicator is and you can see how large this is and these support lots and lots of colors and color values let me delete that out and then I've got something like this uh, video here